Well, this doesn't belong here. Oh! <laughs> so this is what's gonna happen when your victim gets some soda. <laughs> Look at that. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to another prank video. Now this video is a compilation of pranks that I've done in the past. They are quite messy and super evil, so if you do decide to pull these off, prank at your own risk. They're not really hard to set up, they're very easy to execute, so you shouldn't have a problem with these pranks. Now before we begin, let's make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel with the bell notifications turned on, that way you guys don't miss out on my upcoming videos. One last thing guys, hit that thumbs up button, let's set a goal of a thousand likes, like I always do, and if this video does get a thousand likes, I'll make another video of more ways that you guys can get more Halloween candy. Because I know you guys are wanting me to make another video, you guys just can't get enough of those. So again, hit that like button guys, and I'll make another how to get more Halloween candy. Let's get this video rolling, check it out! Okay guys, well let's start off with a really super nasty prank. So for this prank, you're gonna need a juice pouch like this. This is a Kool-Aid jammer, and this is a Capri Sun pouch. Now, we're gonna use the Kool-Aid jammer instead of the Capri Sun, because if you look at the bottom, you guys can actually see the contents inside, which is juice, and we don't want that. If you look at the Kool-Aid jammer, it's a solid color, and that's what we want. So for this prank, we're not gonna use the Capri Sun, although you guys can, but I'm gonna stick with the Kool-Aid jammer. I'm also gonna be using my trusty syringe. You guys know I use this a lot for my pranks. So first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna get rid of the contents inside, and the way we're gonna do that is, we're gonna take the syringe, make sure you push out all the air, or water, whatever's in there, and then you're gonna pierce through the bottom of the pouch, like this, it shouldn't be that hard, and then all you're gonna do is, Pull it out and you'll be extracting the juice. See, it's green because this is a kiwi flavor. So you guys can either drink this or get rid of it or whatever, but we need this to be empty at this point. Just like that. And we're gonna be repeating the process until the pouch is completely empty. Okay, so now that this is empty, we're gonna fill it up with something nasty, something gross, and my liquid of choice is gonna be some nasty clam juice. This stuff is disgusting, and you know it's nasty, guys, when you open it, it releases this awful smell. It smells nasty. It's hard to describe the stink, guys, but it is really nasty. You're gonna have to open up a bottle yourself and smell it. So if you guys ever wanted to use a nasty liquid that's drinkable, that's not gonna harm anybody, go for some clam juice. This is like the most disgusting liquid out there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this clam juice and we're gonna fill up this pouch with it. You know what's crazy is that this clam juice smells worse than liquid ass. And I just noticed something that liquid ass has the same color as clam juice so they probably use clam juice when they make liquid ass that's just what I'm thinking because it smells that bad I feel bad for this syringe because it's gonna go in for a dip in this nasty bottle of clam juice so I'm gonna stick it in and I'm gonna extract oh man this is nasty so I'm just gonna extract some clam juice as much as I can oh that is disgusting Smells like a dead sea animal. And then I'm just gonna start filling it up. Yuck. And then I'm gonna continue the process until I have filled it up to make it look legit, till it looks like it's a pouch full of juice. One more and I think it'll be full enough. This is what the bottom looks like. Look at that nastiness right there. Seems like they just got this bottle and then they just got some seawater and put it in here along with some other nasty stuff. So here's my strip of tape and I'm just gonna cover that hole. Make sure it's dry though. That way it sticks better and there's no leaking. Just like that, you can't even tell there's a piece of tape right there. And that's it guys, you just completed this prank. So now that you got all that nasty, disgusting clam juice inside, 
put the juice pouch in the box, make sure it's the first one there, and then when your victim comes and gets it and they're really thirsty, they don't know if you've set up this booby trap, they're gonna stick that straw in there and sip on it, not knowing that there's clam juice in there. It's just gonna make them puke. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen unless they love clam juice, then of course this prank is gonna backfire on you. But no, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be disgusted by that clam juice. When it comes to family gatherings, you'll always find styrofoam cups, styrofoam plates, anything that you can throw away because you know, you have a lot of guests. People don't like washing dishes when there's a lot of them. So if your family's like mine, we're gonna have styrofoam cups. So here's two pranks that you guys can set up on your friends and family. First, get a cup from the stack and pretty much what we're gonna do is remove the bottom. So I got my blade right here and I'm just gonna remove the base of it carefully. I'm gonna go all around until I've completely removed it. Perfect. Look at that. Now we're able to pop it out like nothing, but we're not. We're actually gonna leave it in place. We just made the cut so that when somebody pours a drink, it'll start spilling out. Basically, that's it, guys. Put this back in the stack like that. And when somebody pulls it out, they're not really gonna notice the cut underneath. And when they pour themselves a drink, this is what's gonna happen. Okay, let's get some of my favorite soda, which happens to be Mountain Dew. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Instantly. Pretty much this can't hold up the weight of the soda, so it's gonna cave in. And of course it's gonna cause that spill. And nobody wants to clean that up, right? I know I didn't, that's why I didn't pour a whole bunch of soda into it. So that's a little spill that we'll create. Now, if they're not even paying attention to what they're putting into their cup, they might end up making a bigger mess. Let's see that again from a different angle. <laughs> See, look at that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop, because I'm making a mess and this video contains a lot of messy pranks. Now that I've cleaned up that mess, let's make another one. And for that, we're also gonna need some cups. It's gonna basically have the same effect, but we're gonna set it up differently. So here we have an empty cup. Nothing fishy about it, nothing strange. You know, it's just a regular cup. Well, we're gonna booby trap it. And to do that, we're also gonna remove some pieces of the bottom. So you guys can remove any pattern that you want. I myself am going to cut like half moons, a shape like this, see? You guys can do that or you guys can do a star, it doesn't matter as long as there's an opening down here. The difference between this and the last prank, well, is because some people like drinking their, their sodas or juice with ice. So the last prank wouldn't work because if you put the ice before the soda, the ice is so heavy that the prank just wouldn't work. So if you're in charge of getting people drinks, you can pull off this prank. So what we're gonna do next, guys, is we're gonna get some cotton balls and put them in there. The only reason why we're putting cotton balls in here is because they absorb the ice, which we're gonna add inside. It'll start melting. Well, the cotton is gonna absorb it, so there won't be any leaking. It won't give away this prank. So now that we've added the ice, the cotton balls, and the openings on the bottom, this prank is good to go. Just give this cup to your victim. Let them know that they can pour themselves anything they want, and when they do so, this is what's gonna happen. Let's switch it up this time and add some orange soda. Crush. Alright guys, so this is what's gonna happen when your victim gets some soda. Slowly, look at that. <laughs> and when they pick it up, it'll start leaking. So yeah guys, that's a little mess, it'll freak them out. They won't know what's going on. Why is my cup leaking? Well, there it is, that's the reason. They're holding their cup and they're pouring themselves some soda. <laughs> and that's how you can get your victims at your next family gathering. This next prank you guys can pull off on your parents. So your parents like to make themselves shakes like these. This is perfect. So you're gonna need access to their tub of powder like I have right here, this is a meal replacement. So I'm gonna open it up for you guys so you guys can take a look inside. And all you guys see is powder and a scoop. This one right here. Well, here's an awesome way that you guys can trick your victims, probably your parents, into consuming something that isn't their shake. So the way we're gonna pull this off is that we're gonna have to take out the scoop like this and find a replacement that looks exactly like the powder inside. So for this example, I'm gonna be using some coffee creamer. So I'm gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna pour some into the scoop, like this. 
and the color is almost identical. So I'm gonna fill it up all the way to the top. Just like that, eh, oh well. So here it is guys, this is a full scoop of coffee creamer. Not the shake powder, but the coffee creamer. So we're gonna take it full like this, and then we're just gonna lay it down inside. And that's it guys, look at that. And then all you do is put the cap back on. And that's it. So when your victim comes over and wants to make themselves a shake, they'll open it up. They'll reach in to grab the scoop and look at that. There's already one in there that's full. So they won't have to dip it in there since it's already full. And then they're just gonna pour it, pour it into their cup and then put their fruit in there, blend it. And they think they have a delicious shake. But when they take a sip of it, it's not gonna be good. Or actually it might because coffee creamer isn't that bad but it won't be the shake that they'll be expecting though <laughs> so when your victim takes a sip out of the coffee creamer shake they'll come over and investigate what's going on with their shake so they'll probably make another one and realize that this one tasted good all along but why is this one tasting like coffee creamer so this is an awesome morning prank you guys can pull off on your parents an older brother an older sister or somebody that likes to make shakes for breakfast for this prank guys, we're gonna need a balloon like this one. And guess what guys? We're gonna fill this up with water. So the size is up to you, so just fill it up with water. And here's my balloon guys. It's filled with water. Locate a spot where you guys want this balloon to pop. Me, I'm gonna choose this counter that's been taking a beating for the last couple of years. This is where the prank is gonna be set up. So, what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm gonna take some hot glue. So get some hot glue and just put some glue on the spot where you're gonna want your balloon to sit. Remember guys that hot glue with water, it comes off easily, so don't worry about it. But if you must, put a, put a piece of tape underneath. That way you don't damage your counter. After you apply that hot glue on the counter, you're gonna take your balloon and place it on top, just like this, guys. Let it sit there for a little bit, so it dries up. So hold it so it doesn't roll. Make sure it dries up before you let go of it. So the prank is set, guys. If you guys look at this balloon, it looks like a normal regular water balloon, and it is. It's got water inside, but the only thing that makes it different is that it's glued on to the counter. Now, somebody that comes over and tries to lift this up will actually cause it to pop due to the fact that it's glued on. And what I noticed about the hot glue is that it kind of melts the balloon just enough and it weakens it so it's easy to pop. So when somebody picks it up, they're gonna pull on it. It's so fragile that it's gonna pop. Just watch. Well, this doesn't belong here. Oh! <laughs> Dang, guys. That's a big old mess. A huge mess. Can you guys hear the wet spots? It's more like a puddle now. So yeah, it's a big old mess that they weren't expecting, yet it happened, so since they caused this mess, they'll have to clean this up. So if you wanna get your mom, your dad, your grandma, anybody at home to go for it with this prank. Just like I said at the start of this video, guys, these are simple pranks, yet super evil, so prank with caution. I don't want you guys getting in trouble. Now at the beginning of this video, I set a goal of a thousand likes on this video. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make another how to get more Halloween candy. Yeah, I know guys, it would be part four. So if you guys really want me to make that video, support this particular video now, and I'll make that video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you subscribed and turn on all bell notifications. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. All right, let's sever this pinky. Ah. <laughs> oh. They're gonna turn on the fan automatically, right? So this is what's gonna happen when they turn on the fan. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>